We all know TRC. Even though their knives are not typically our style, they managed to blow us away with Apocalypse. And now, after all these years, they've made a DBK knife because they were the perfect brand for us. And now, they have made a knife in Magna Cut. Yeah. Meet the Polheim in Magna Cut. Mickey. The Polheim. Ma uh, uh, this Maarten really insisted on doing this video. There was not an option available that we did not make this video. TRC is actually one of the only brands nowadays that I spend my own money on. Not because their knives are typically my style, but because they are made with perfection. I know, you cannot shut and up I, about it. And I think that if they make a knife in Magna Cut, it will probably be one of the best history at Magna Cuts there is. Is this the first knife in Magna Cut? This is their first knife in Magna Cut. Let's go, boys! And this is an EDC type knife, so you can carry this in your pocket and it should be able to do all your tasks. It's an all round knife, Miggy. Martin, let's go. Aya! Sharpness out of the box. This is perfect balance, yo. And I already felt the sharpness, Martin, and it oh. felt bloody sharp. Oh, and something that is different on this knife than on many knives is the sheath is actually made to lock in your... How do you say that? Sack here. <laughs> in your <laughs> pocket. Uh, in your pocket, look. I think our English is deteriorating <laughs> as every week goes by. I want to see it under 120 because I think TRC is able to do that. <gasps> This video is sponsored by Lamnia. <laughs> you think of Lamnia, you think of knives, huh? Falcon Even TRC, Sisipuka, Rocka, you would be correct. But Lamnia is so much more. One of the sturdiest bags you can find on the market. Lamnia has got you covered with, with the Savota, Savota Kaika, Kaika in different sizes. sizes. This is actually Marta's knife bag and we've been using it for many years. And you bet that is heavy. And many more bags and gear from Exp Expedition and Fjall Raven and much more. Europe's most popular axes, Grand Force, Hultervors, Lamnia. But they also have shovels in it. And when you're done using all that gear, it's time to relax. Lamnia! Ticket to the Moon is genuinely our favorite hammock and we have been sleeping in them for the last 10 years. Literally. Morning house broken. Oh, yeah, this is my Corinthia sleeping bag, which they also sell. They also sell flashlights in it. Go to lamnia.com because you're worth it. Like the first morning. Nee. Nee. This is? is no, this that, is, that is almost ray, literally razor sharp. Is this the sharpest that we have ever seen out of the, out of the box? Yeah. You can, you can win competitions with this knife out of the box in sharpness. Oh. The razor blade actually was 48 grams. Oh. 48. Okay. Right, let, that is actually, I, would, I was expecting like 10 grams. Sorry if this is confusing, but this is a shot of a video where we tested the razor blade on the sharpness scale. A sharpness scale being a scale that measures how much grams of force it takes to cut a specific piece of wire. So this means this knife came out of the box being almost as sharp as a razor blade. Do you copy? 48. Actually, with the last voiceover, I found out it was 37, but never mind. 64, Martin, that is 16 grams difference. This, yeah, this is 16 crazy. 16 grams, that is, that is basically the same. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> this this is, is almost <laughs> as sharp as a razor blade right out of the box. You know, and that is one of the reasons why we love TRC. Oh Martin, that, oh my Martin, that is crazy, that is crazy. <laughs> okay, let me grab out one of my three remaining hairs. Oh, oh, oh my god, it is the hair splitting sharp, yo! Whoa! Oh no, it can do does it do it easily? It's not even uncomfortable, look at this. Oh damn. It's not even uncomfortable. Oh Martin, that is crazy! No, but that is crazy, isn't it? I've never had a true comfortable shape from a knife like this. 
This is just stupid! So here's the thing. When we last sharpened a knife that actually was as sharp as a razor, it damaged heavily when hitting a egg or when it did some feather sticking. The question is, can this Magna Cut knife survive all testing? Mag Magna Cut, you say, Mickey? Yeah, the same steel that the Bark River knife had, which we broke with light batoning. But also the same steel that performed so good, it was like it came from another planet when Creeley used it on his knife. Did TRC just make an unparalleled diamond of a knife or a piece of glass which is way too overpriced? Yeah. We'll tell you the answer after our quick message about our limited restocked DBK knife. We have 50 DBK knives back in stock. 50, yeah, only you know 50. what? They are also made by TRC. Isn't that great? Buy them please, thank you. Happy holiday. Just something I was just thinking. Is this knife I think would be really nice for this. I don't know, but it's V-edge, so... Yeah, but it has, it is so thin. And this is already dried a bit. Okay, it's not the best for this, but it is good. <laughs> David Brandt. David Brandt. Uh, can you say monkey? Monkey! Monkey! I do feel a little bit scared because of what happened with the with the Bark River. Yeah. And this also has knots in it. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. So it can do it. And this it can is... can actually do it, Martin. And yeah. if I was in uh, whatever scenario, I would never have a heavier wood than this. I feel a little bit scared now that you showed up and said you want to do something and you'll just use your knife for it. There's a technique that we normally use with a saw. Sawing some piece of wood like this to halfway and then whacking it on wood. I think maybe there's another way to also kind of use that technique. Oh my god. I have to be honest, I'm not hitting it full force, yeah? yeah, yeah. For all, all you people. But it does really bite into the wood. Yeah, it, it, I mean, look at this. See? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see if this works, yeah, Martin? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at that. It worked. Whoa. And it worked! And that's how you process wood with a small knife. But now, now you actually are able to process bigger wood with a small knife in a very functional way. Survival, bushcraft, rock and roll, Mickey B, he is back, <laughs> feather stick, oh my god, it is sharp, obnoxious <laughs> guy, obnoxious, 9 out of 10, 9 <laughs> out of 10, 9 out of 10. <laughs> really? No. Oh. Yeah, but this is the reason why you want to actually do this stuff, because the inside of this wood is really dry, and the outside is actually completely soaked. And in, look at this, it that is pretty easy on shit wood as well. Okay. You know what? I'm, go I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Well, that is really high. Yeah, because Mickey somehow I, I think probably given it an eight. Okay, but I would kind of live with eight too, but it's just really good. But there is actually one small downside, and that is because the handle lacks thickness or coke bottle shape. Uh, you have to squeeze it hard to keep control on it, so it can get a little bit tiresome in the hand while doing this longer. I have to say that is my biggest downside of this whole knife is that yeah the steel performs good but I don't like the design. It is not my style and I don't like a V-edge so for all the people who don't like that that is going to be a bit of a bummer like me but I'm very 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 impressed with the knife yep. and it's an amazing knife whatsoever. 
but the most impressive thing is yet to come. Before we did all these tests, we did a rope cutting test to see how long the knife would retain its edge. Okay, steel does one cut. Super steels do around five cuts and then still cut foam paper. This knife. I'm a god. <sighs> that is Can mental. That? Can I try that? <laughs> Oh, Mickey. Oh, of course, it's not perfect, but but do you know? I want to see how how sharp is it still now then. Two oh four. That is absolutely insane. After ten bloody cuts of rope, that is still a sharp, okay, sharp knife. Foam book paper, the hardest paper to cut. Okay. Finally. Okay. But it's but still, still cutting. Cuts. It still cuts. It's, it's still it's cuts, Martin. Mickey, let me get some DPK compound and see if I can strap this back in literally one minute. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ninety-six. <laughs> We, oh Nine my god, six after. for edge retention, this knife is blowing me away. I mean, it is. it has such a good edge retention. I take a strop and it's back perfect. So that shows how well the microstructure of that, of that steel is. TRC has a rounded spine. Yeah, uh, that's what we thought. And we were wrong again. It's not the best fire scraper. No, it's a six out of ten. But it can do it. It was actually better than I uh, did it or than I expected because. It's just a matter of the angle that you hold. Now, Martin had planned a killer meal. A delicious steak with self-made pork sauce. I think for food prepping, we, we could give this like a seven and a half. It's really slicey, it's sharp, it's thin. It's all you need for food prepping. Monkey. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna first cut it, then you then pour over the, the sauce. You, you, okay. Why the cable he speak one language? <laughs> I'm gonna first cut it, Danky. <laughs> Monkey. Let me taste if you made the meat well. And if it's poisonous. That's not poisonous. <laughs> that is not poisonous. It's good? Mm. Okay, let mm. me try the meat mm. before I put mm. on the sauce. Oh, up. I had a really big piece of fat. Uh. Mm, I love it. Martin is really good. Okay, let me try one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is good. That caveman style, Mickey. That yeah. is. Oh, man. Look at how good it looks! It really took a lot of effort actually, only for me to just completely ruin everything by filming the eating shot in slow motion again! Which has no sound. It was really good though. I mean, we even agree, look, handshake. We both gave it an 8 at the same time. And Martin said, Yo Mick, you're my friend man, and you're not annoying at all. I will give you all the profit for this DPK knife badge. Is there more food for my belly man? So this is a really good example of how good this sheath actually is. I mean, I unlocked it and I cannot get it off my pocket now. I think it's not made for morons. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a video again. I mean, we got a really big surprise. And that was, of course, the new giveaway of this month. 
Merk, crazy. hit it. It's a voiceover because we don't know it yet. We are giving away our new favorite, the Falcon Even NL5 COS. Thanks to DBK. A UG Tools Tiny Magna Cut. Thanks to UG Tools. A Lion Steel M53V Knife Tools exclusive. Thanks to Knife Tools. A Midgard Mesa Jotun. Thanks to Tools for Gents. An MKM Maximo. Thanks to MKM. Two Tour Gear Wolf Tentos. Thanks to Tour Gear. And the ANVP 100. Thanks to ANV. I do not really like the look of this knife because it is not my taste. Yeah. You know, and uh, I don't really like a V edge. Yeah. But that doesn't take away that this knife performed amazingly well. And Mickey, can you take a look at this knife, a close look, and find one flaw? Because no. these knives are like partially or for a big part handmade, hand sharpened, hand finished, and they are yeah. always perfect. And that's why TRC also makes the DPK knives because. Yeah. They are just amazing craftsmen, and even when they make something that isn't really 100% our style, it still blows us away. I didn't dare to hit it very hard, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could hit it very yeah. hard. And for all those wondering, why didn't you hit it? Because I was afraid, yeah, that it would yeah. break and that it would and snap into my hand. I wanted to do this test a little bit more like what you would actually use this knife for. It's a, a small EDC fixed blade style knife that is made for lighter tasks, but can do all these more heavy tasks as well. So it's it's just a very good all-round knife. The spine is rounded, so it doesn't hurt your finger it's when, good you, finish. when yeah. you push on it, but it still scrapes the fire stick. Exactly. The finish is amazing. The sheath is very well uh, thought about. I mean, yeah, you can clip Oop. it onto your to your pocket yeah. and it will not fall off at all. I mean, you can trust me on that. I would say like this knife is like 99% positive. Okay, it has the V edge. Biggest downside will always be the price. You're getting a, a very high quality, high end handmade knife with a premium price. I hope I see you next week. Hope you like this video and comment for the algorithm. And uh, yeah. The DBK knives are back in stock. Yeah. So go get. Bye. Hey, bye.